Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Sacred Gold. Today we will be taking on the last member of the Elite Four, number four, Karen, the Dark Master. Well, don't, I, 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 I can only say Dark Master because she's the only one in all of the Johto slash Kanto region that actually uses Dark types. Kind of like how, um, uh, da, da, da. Jasmine is the only one that uses steel types, but I, I guess every all the gym leaders and all the elite four are all masters in their own field. Well, like except for Claire because she's just copying off of Lance, so she's being completely unoriginal. And she's a crybaby because she won't hand out her badge. Same with Whitney, but you know there's no other normal gym, so I guess I gotta get her stuff. So I'm um, switching out to Star Raptor here because of stupid attract and. I don't want to have to deal with that. So we're going out to Feraligate it. Female Feraligator. Attract will not work unless, you know, Feraligator swings that way. And if she does, all power to her. Which, you know, I'm waiting for the day when they add... You know, never mind, I'm not going to go there. They're not going to add it, probably, because, you know, the whole uh, love thing in Pokemon is basically for breeding, so not gonna go there, not gonna talk about gay marriage, not gonna talk, talk about same gender relationships in Pokemon. And there's really no point to get into that, don't need anyone getting mad at me, I'm just gonna get back to the battle. So, I'm gonna send out Magnazone, because she's sending out Honchkrow, I already took out the Mighty Enna. And let's see if one discharge will take this thing out. Come on, one discharge. Come on, take out the hunch crow. And it's down. Alright, that's two down. Looks like Karen's gonna go down pretty easily, just like everyone else. Alright, here comes Houndoom. <gasps> Let's switch back out into Feraligator. She can take on Houndoom any day. This Houndoom's probably gonna be a lot tough. Yep. Well, I, I guess... If her Houndoom and Archer's Houndoom were at the same level, they'd both be pretty much the same, but yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I honestly can't remember how I beat Archer's Houndoom. That was like a week ago when I played and recorded that and did the commentary, so... Anyway, one... no, not one hit. Almost one hit took it out, and it brings it back itself back up to yellow, so... yep. No... Uh, full restores for this one. And Feraligator did not survive. Okay, well that's kind of disappointing. One Dark Pulse took out Feraligator. Now that... That just seems kind of sketchy to me, but that's okay. Staraptor can come in here and clean up. With one Aerial Ace. Yeah. Bird versus Dog. Bird wins somehow. Oh well. Staraptor gets many, many points. And now here comes Absol. I'm just gonna leave Staraptor in, and probably close combat. Oh yeah, let's see here, will this be knockout number four? I hope it will be, because that'd be quite impressive. And knockout number four, yeah, look at that. Four down, two to go. Let's see here, thinking dark types, um, either Spiritomb or Sableye, that's a given. And, yep, there it is, Spiritomb. And the last one will probably be Umbreon, I want to say. I don't know, but we got the Spiritomb here, and we're just going to fly. It's, it's ghostly powers won't work on us. But, you know, it probably has Sucker Punch, because it's so dang slow. So, oh well. Let's see here, one fly almost knocks it out, and it's going to use Embargo. So, I can't use my item, and I think... I don't even remember what the item on Star Raptor is. And there we go. Spear Tube is down. One more to go. Umbreon, I'm pretty sure. Yep, Umbreon. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> come on back, Star Raptor. Blaziken, I'm counting on you. I want you to come in here and punch that cat fox. And win the battle for me, okay? I, I have great faith in you. Oh, okay, you're, you can't do it this turn, because we still haven't figured out how to punch through Protect. So, now I want you to do it this turn. 
Use your amazing scat uppercutness. Punch that Umbreon in the jaw. And it's gonna talk to me. Okay, well, she's gonna use full restore on it next turn. Because I didn't take it out, but it's in the red, so. Looks like it'll take another sky uppercut. I, I kinda wish that. Blaziken had more accurate moves. I mean, Sky Uppercut only has like 85%, maybe 90, I'm not completely sure, but Blaze Kick, I think, has 90%, and um, uh, Strength and Brave Bird both, I think, have 100, but still, it when Blaziken learns Close Combat, I think it learns Close Combat, yeah. If it doesn't learn Close Combat, I'm going to be stuck with Sky Uppercut. Or I could switch that out for, like, Brick Break or something. But there we go. Karen is knocked out. That is the end of the Elite Four. That means that there's only one challenge left. Let's heal up the team a bit. Let's go ahead and give Blaziken a full restore. We gotta, we gotta heal for Alligator because for Alligator is going to be the main powerhouse for the next battle. I cannot, will not, and shall not go into this battle without for alligator. Besides, she was my starter. I can't leave her behind in the most important battle of this game so far. I mean, every single battle has been the most important battle of this game so far, but... This is kind of like the end of Chapter 1. Or the end of Book 1. Get ready to start Book 2. Pokemon Sacred Gold. Sacred Gold Harder. And we're going to save it there, so next time we will go up here and challenge the champion. I want to thank you all for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. C'est la vie.